Today we celebrate the martyrdom of St. John Fisher and St. Thomas More. Thomas More was the Chancellor of England, the second most powerful person in the realm in the time of Henry VIII. John Fisher was the Bishop of Rochester in England. And at the time when Henry VIII essentially broke away from the Catholic Church, declared himself to be head of the Church, not the Pope, and started to move towards Protestantism, and really compelled everyone around him to comply uh, with this move, with this um, heresy, really, with, with the schism. And John Fisher was the only Catholic bishop who did not capitulate. Thomas More resigned his post and tried to quietly remove himself from the situation. Henry VIII demanded public compliance. So both of them found themselves in the Tower of London and were beheaded for their witness. Reminds us that um, martyrdom and betrayal come in small packages. All that they had to do to save their earthly lives, um, John and Thomas, was to sign a document acknowledging that Henry VIII was now head of the church. That's all they had to do. And in fact, Thomas More's daughter, Meg, comes to him in the tower and pleads with him and says, just sign the document. You know, Keep your fingers crossed behind your back. Tell God you don't really mean it. I don't want to lose you. I don't want you to die. And Thomas famously says that his conscience prevents him from violating uh, what he knows to be true about the church. So they die as martyrs for the integrity of the church. So we pray that in our time and in our age, we too will be faithful, not only in the big things, but in the small things. And at a time when um, there's, there's such disruption in our society and, and some of that turmoil is even in the church, the Lord is calling us to love the church as our mother, to serve the church, to always be loyal sons and daughters of the church, to even die for the church if that's required. The Catholic Church is the only institution that I would give my life for and that I would die for because she is the bride of Christ. She was founded by the Lord himself and, and she truly is, is our mother who nurtures us through the sacraments to the fullness of eternal life. That is the truth and beauty that Thomas and John um, gave their lives for. And today on their feast day, we pray for the grace that we too may be witnesses to the power and truth of the gospel in the church, that we may be witnesses to the necessity of religious freedom, and that we may heroically resist all the encroachments on the life of the church in the public square and in the practice of our faith in this beautiful country that is founded on religious freedom. St. Thomas More, St. John Fisher, pray for us.